There's a serious matter I wanted to discuss with you today uh, as a result of a dream that I had recently here, maybe about a week ago. And I did a little research after this dream and I thought, well, let me take the time to share it with you. I realize the Bible tells us that the multitude of dreams are vanity, but it may be worth mentioning anyway. Um, the dream that I had uh, woke me up at about 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, maybe about a week ago, I suppose. And I was somewhere near the uh, Tennessee-Mississippi border in this dream when a tremendous earthquake began to shake the earth. Uh, it was something like I'd never seen or experienced in my entire life. I have been in an earthquake before uh, out in uh, Los Angeles, California, and oddly enough, I'd actually prayed and asked the Lord the one day that I'd be in Los Angeles if I could be in an earthquake uh, around a four-point magnitude, uh, 4.5, somewhere like that, and God answered that prayer, and I actually was on the fault line. The very neighborhood the fault line was in was where I was staying at when the earthquake struck uh, Los Angeles. So I know what it's like to be in an earthquake, at least a 4.2 magnitude. That's actually what the earthquake was that afternoon, and that was the only afternoon I was there in Los Angeles. And so I got to experience that, so I know what an earthquake is like. But in this dream, I was uh, somewhere looked like in southern Tennessee. For some reason, I knew this in the dream, but, uh, but near the Mississippi border um, when this earthquake struck, and it was unbelievable. Uh, the magnitude, no telling what the magnitude was. and But right before the earthquake struck, I noticed that the cars, we were near some backcountry roads, and the next thing I see were cars from everywhere trying to escape, leaving the south, going north, trying to get away from the coastlines. And I don't know why I knew this, but I knew that they were trying to flee for some reason, uh, although I was un unaware of why. And that's when the earthquake began to, to, to shake the earth so violently. Uh, there was a bridge nearby, and I noticed the bridge was just like waving up and down just like that. And so it was just shocking for me to see this. And I remember asking someone in the dream, has Los Angeles gone beneath the sea? And I didn't get a response on that. But then I asked again, but this time I asked a different question, uh, where is the epicenter? And I heard come back to me, Minnesota, the word Minnesota was actually spoken to me. And I came out of the dream, and I was very troubled by the dream. Uh, I paced the floor for quite a while in the house, just disturbed by it with the intent that I was going to do more research, because uh, quite honestly, I had no idea of an earthquake strike in the center of the United States, only to find out that the, there is a tremendous fault through the center of the United States called the I believe it's called the, uh, the Madrid or the New Madrid fault line. And there are those that say that there is coming a tremendous earthquake that even the government is aware of that will split this nation. Um, so I wanted to bring this to you. And another thing that came on my mind today, and I cannot say that it's a revelation from the Lord, but it was a strong, um, strong thought that come to my heart is as we see that there may come an earthquake that would possibly could divide this country and allow the ocean uh, front to move inland right through the center of the, right up through Louisiana, through Mississippi, uh, kind of like following the, the Mississippi River area there, uh, I couldn't help but think that this could actually take place at the time when the Palestinians are awarded a state in Israel. Uh, could it be, especially if the United States has a strong play in this and pressing forward uh, with its agenda for a Palestinian state, could God indeed bring judgment upon this nation for dividing the land of Israel and in turn bring judgment and divide the United States in his anger in doing so? I cannot say if it's so or not. Anyway, I wanted to bring that to just just as a food for thought. And uh, also I wanted to thank, uh, there was a couple of you that, that sent in a love offering for the book that, we're, that I'm desperately trying to finish right now called Yom Suf. Uh, it is dealing with the, a lot of the information you get to see in the videos here, but I'm trying to reach out to my Jewish brethren and sisters as well for them to recognize who Mashiach ben David is. A lot of insights that they have never considered before, 
And the book, by the way, I did have one person ask me out on YouTube that uh, uh, trying to get an idea of the cost of this book, and I kind of spoke off the cuff when I emailed them back, uh, forgetting the fact that this book will be in full color. Uh, so it will be a little bit costly, I'm sure, as far as uh, from a retail aspect as well as a printing aspect, uh, doing it because the book has to be full color, the entire book. We have a lot of pictures that have been donated. Uh, Dr. James Dobson, uh, his office is allowing you to use the pictures from him. Uh, uh, the Caldwells, uh, Jim and Penny, and Vivica Pontian, uh, Ron Wyatt's uh, wife has allowed us to use photographs. And um, we're requesting as well from the Defiance movie uh, photos from that, as well as the Bielski family. I have not gotten permission from there yet, but that's something that we're trying to obtain as well. But we're really hoping that the book will reach out to the Jewish people and will win souls uh, in such a late hour that we're living in. Uh, again, we're going to try to translate this in Hebrew as well. So any help that you could offer, we would be tremendously grateful for that. And uh, if we're, we, we would like to also, if you can contribute to this, send you a copy of the book for free when the book does come out. So please, if you do give, if you do send an offering in, um, let us know what your address is. And also our website, IsraelReturns.com which you'll see at the end of the video here. We do have our donate button up on there. There were several of you, several of you that emailed me and said that you would like to be able to donate when we have our, our donate button on the website. So yes, it's on the website. It's around the top left-hand side of the page there. You'll see a little donation place there. Uh, if you're able to give, we thank you for that. I'm not going to be like you see the television people that say, if you sow $1,000, you know, then God's going to bless you with all this great amounts of money. Uh, I don't think that we should belittle people's intelligence like that. If you're able to give, I thank you very much. If you're not able to give, I appreciate the fact if we can be a blessing to you nonetheless. And that's what really matters. God bless you and have a great week.